Hello and welcome to XD Indexer training from Ormex Systems. This video will teach you how to connect to the XD Indexer via Ethernet and USB. The simplest way to connect to the XD Indexer is through the USB port on the front of the drive. When you install Motion Set on your computer, the driver for the device is put in the Ormex folder within the program files on your computer. When you plug in the XD Indexer for the first time, you will be prompted to install drivers for this device. When asked to use Windows Update, select No, not at this time, and click Next. Then, instead of running the wizard, select Install from a list or specific location. Under Search for the best driver in these locations, select Include this location in the search. Browse to your C drive, into the Program Files folder, the Ormec folder, the Motion Set folder, then finally the Ormec USB Drivers folder. Follow the rest of the prompts. From within Motion Set, you can select the device address you want to connect to through the drop down menu here. Select USB and click Connect here. Once connected, you should have a blinking green light in the bottom right corner of the screen. If you disconnect or lose communications with an indexer, this light will stop blinking. The other connection method available from your computer to the XD indexer is through Ethernet. Keep in mind that you will need to use a crossover Ethernet cable to connect directly from your computer to the XD indexer. The default IP address for any XD indexer is 192.168.1.250 and the default subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. Use this information to configure your IP address on your computer. Let's go over briefly how to configure the IP address on your computer. I will be using a Windows XP machine, so these instructions may differ if you are using a different version of Windows. First, you need to find your network connections. This can be done through the control panel. If you use the category view of the control panel, click on Network and Internet Connections, then select Network Connections on the bottom half of the screen. If you use Classic View for your control panel, simply double click on Network Connections. Once you see your network connections, right click on the connection you will be using to communicate with the indexer. This is different for every computer, so it may take a try or two to figure out which connection is the right one. After right clicking, select Properties. From the General tab, double click on Internet Protocol TCP IP. From the General tab on this window, select Use the following IP address. To find an IP address that starts with 192.168.1 and then specify the last number as anything between 1 and 255, making sure not to use the same address as the XD indexer. From Motion Set, you can select the address in the drop down menu at the top of the screen you want to connect to. If you manually change the address of the indexer, you can add its new IP address by clicking on the phone book next to this drop down menu. Add the address you will be using and click Close. The address will be available in the drop down menu for a quick selection in the future. Whether you connect by using this button here or going to Online then Connect, you will see this prompt pop up. When connected, the changes you make in Motion Set will automatically update in the drive. Therefore, your project in Motion Set and the project in your drive must be synchronized from the start. This dialog box gives you a few options depending on what you want to do. The first option is only available if the program in Motion Set on your PC is the same version as the one on the drive. In this case, there is no action needed. You can skip this dialog box when both are in sync by checking this box. The second option will send values from your PC down to the drive and overwrite whatever is currently on the drive. The third option will send values from the indexer to your PC. The last option will bring up a project compare window so that you can determine what differences are between the two versions. Let's look at an example of that. If I choose to cancel and change a couple of values in the motion table and then connect, you will notice that the first option is no longer available. If I click show me the differences between the project and the drive, I will see this window. Any differences between the two versions are highlighted in red. This concludes this instructional video. For more information about how to use the XD indexer, visit us at ormac.com.